Let's bring in actor Antonio Sabato Jr., author of the book, Sabato, The Untold Story. Antonio, thank you for joining us. Um, we, wanted, we wanted to look at uh, the Fetterman Oz race for one, and we can look at a couple of the other ones. But but the guy, the man won't debate Oz. I I, I can't imagine Pennsylvania voting not. for a guy who won't debate the, the contender. Yeah, of course not, because uh, he's never going to win that debate, and he will never win. Uh, the Democrats lie. That's what they're good at, and it's sickening what they've done over the. I mean, it's just been too long right now. I just forget. But they still do it, and they're going to keep doing it. They're, they're liars. They get paid to lie. They even take the month of August off. They shouldn't take anything off. They should be working 24 hours a day for the, for the awful job they've been doing. And all these liberal cities are falling apart. It's true. Uh, the Democrats uh, have failed over and over again. The president, obviously, if you want to call him a president at this point, has failed in so many levels and continuing to do it on a daily basis. So our country is not as stable anymore. It's not as safe anymore, internally and externally. So at some point, the American people have to wake up. You know, I mean, we might not get along with the two parties, but people are people. And we want our country back. We want to go to work. We want to take care of our families. We want to keep loving God. If you don't love God, that's fine with me. But, you know, we're Americans here. We want to take care of our country. And these cities and these states under the Democrats are awful and they're disgusting. And it's just sad to see on a daily basis what they're doing to them. San Antonio, it looks like the House is going to be firmly in control by the GOP come two months in November after the election. The Senate may come yeah. down to those these three races, the, the Pennsylvania race, Oz and Fetterman, Herschel Walker and, and Warnock in, in Georgia, Herschel. and uh, J.D. Vance and whoever's going to lose to J.D. Vance in Ohio. I can't remember his name. So if the Republicans win two of those three, it looks like they will take over the Senate. You want to score those three races for us? Absolutely. I think they're going to score very well. I think uh, Herschel is a good friend of mine. He's doing extremely well. He's an amazing person inside and out. I adore the guy. I work with him. I spent a lot of time with him. He's got an amazing story. And people are reflecting to him in every way, shape, or form. And they're just going and, and flocking in front of him because they need help. You know, I, and I totally understand. And he's there to help. That's what kind of person he is. So I just hope that the Republican Party is able to really support these people. They need to raise money. It's really important to understand that in these races, money is, is key. And that's sad to say because it shouldn't be about money. It should be about the American people. But they have to run these races, and they're very, very expensive. The Democrats are very good at spending money they don't have. They just accumulate money from Hollywood, and they spend it, and they spend it. And they don't even care about the races. They just want to win everything. It doesn't matter what. At least Herschel is a good guy. He's fighting for the American people. And I just hope, like I said, that the Republican Party stands behind them and everybody else who's running and gives them everything they want. But I think at this point, they should win very, very well. So, um, but you know, may, may I jump in here real quick? I, there was a point a couple yeah. weeks ago when we had Oz on right afterwards where Mitch McConnell said the Republican Senate candidates aren't very strong. And that, that was concerning. Oz came on and said, you know what, McConnell sent him money. Um, and again, it is about money. But also, it feels like the rhino establishment I mean, okay. I don't think Oz hey, is listen, one of them. I, I don't think I'm an independent. I don't think uh, Rehearsal is one of them, and J.D. Vance certainly no. isn't one of them. So a little concerning to me. Absolutely, absolutely. There, there, there's just uh, that's why I stopped being a Republican because I, I consider myself a conservative. I consider myself an American, but I want to be right in the middle. I want to decide for myself because the Republican Party has has disappointed me over the years because they were they didn't support Trump when they needed to. Uh, but anyway, that's a whole different story. We can get back on that. But for now, I just hope that they have to realize that if they want to win the Senate, they want to win the House, and ultimately in two years from now, we want to win our presidency back, we're going to have to work extremely hard against lies, and you're going to have to stand up against tyranny, because now we're dealing with tyranny. We're not just dealing with lies. We're dealing with control of the planet, control of our country in every way, and controlling our children, which is really wrong. So mm -hmm. at this point, if you bring the key of safety, our borders, our homelessness, our dollar, our economy, our gas prices, if you really stick on that and they'll fight them personally because this is not a personal thing. The Democrats are who they are, but we have to stand up for the American people. And I believe this November is going gonna, gonna to be big time uh, for the American flag and our patriots. Yeah, I agree with you. And I think, I think uh, if, if nothing else, folks, I've been saying this forever, think about who holds the gavel in 2022, after the election. You want Republicans having the gavel to be able to subpoena people and ask questions in both the House and the Senate. It matters a lot. And Tony, before we let you go, tell us quickly about your, your podcast. It, it, it's my turn. Is that what it's called? It's my turn. I'm right on Rumble, 9, uh, 9 a.m. from Monday to Friday on Rumble, LFA TV. And I'm on there. My show is called It's My Turn. And I want to inspire people every day 
uh, to just go after their dreams uh, during this really political world, this disgusting world that, you know, that we're presented with the media because they're lying to us every day. There's always hope and goodness. And that's why I want to share with the people that if you're down and out, you can make it happen. And we talk politics, we talk everything else, but I really, I really want to inspire people if I'm going to do a podcast, and that's what I'm trying to do. There you go. An inspirational man, folks, right there, Antonio Sabato Jr. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Hey, guys, it's Rob Carson. September is historically the worst performing month for the stock market, so you better be ready for it. The Fed continues to aggressively raise rates, and J.P. Morgan is forecasting another mega rate hike September the 21st. Is that why Jamie Dimon said an economic hurricane is coming our way? Well, gold and silver have remained remarkably stable despite the Fed aggressively raising rates today. The Patriot Gold Group has a special incentive for Newsmax viewers. Huge! Now precious metals investors can enjoy the No Fee for Life Gold and Silver IRA on qualifying rollovers or enjoy free, discreet, insured shipping on all direct gold and silver purchases. Here's the number, 800-356-4470. Call 800-356-4470 today. 